Leak code 183, customers who never order. Write a solution to find all the customers who never order any. Return the results table in any order. The result format is in the following example. We're going to solve this easy leak code question in both SQL and Python pandas, where I take you guys line by line to find the solution. All right, let's start coding. All right, so our input on the side of things, we have four different IDs with their names associated with it. And then we have our orders table. So we have our ID, which is going to be our order ID. And then we have our customer ID. So the goal ideally is to match these IDs with the customer IDs. And you can see with the final output over here, we have Henry and Max. Well, Henry over here is ID of two and Max is four. And they are both not in this orders table. So let's look at how we can solve this. And honestly, it just takes a few lines of code in SQL. So what I recommend is first, we're going to do a select over here and we're going to say from customers C. So from customers, and we're going to call this as C. Okay. And again, our customer table has this ID and name. Now we're going to say where C dot ID we can say is not in, and we can just do a select. And what we're going to say is select from this orders table, the customer ID. So what I'm going to say is customer ID from orders. O. and I'm going to go back over here and just call this. O. Now, what we need to also do at the very top side of things is we need to grab our name from this customer table. So grab our name and we got to rename the specific name because we want the output as customers. So you can just do name as and we code customers. So let me explain what we're doing. So on the first line of code, it's just basic select, right? We're selecting the name from this customers table. Uh, we're going to recall that column over here as customers, like it's expecting the final output. Okay. Then our second line is we're doing from customers. See now our third line over here is kind of a shortcut. Uh, so we can just do where, and this ID over here, right, is not in, and you can throw a select statement over here. So all we're doing is doing a select and we're grabbing these customer IDs, right, um, from orders O. So we're gonna populate in here one as well as three. So we're gonna grab everything where this ID is not one or three, which which in this instance is going to be Henry and Max because they don't have one and three. Joe has one, so he won't be in our final result. Sam has three, so it won't be in our final results. Instead, we have Henry and Max. So if we just run this over here and it's been accepted, and I know it's been accepted because this is my final solution. Um, the only one other thing I'd recommend really quick before submitting this, make sure that this is just a C dot name. It doesn't really matter since we're only using this one customer's table, but just being a good habit of specifically labeling where your data is coming from, especially when you start writing complex queries on a job. But um, yeah, three lines, super cake. Let's take a look at the Python pandas. All right, so on the Python side of things, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a merge. So again, if you watch some of the videos, a merge is essentially how we're gonna do joins and pandas. So we're gonna say customer orders, we're gonna say equals pd.merge and uh, you could technically put a data frame here. I'm not going to in this instance. Um, so we can define our two data frames inside. Uh, so we can put customers as well as orders. And by the way, when I talk about the data frame here, I think it's leak code 175, if I remember correctly. This is what, 183? Yeah, uh, 175, I think, was the one I just did. So uh, if you want to look back and see how I can change that syntax a little bit. Um, all right, so what we can do is we have customers, we have orders. Um, orders, not order. And then we can specify how we want to join these. So the left is going to be on this ID. The right's going to be on this customer ID. So left underscore on, and we can say equals ID. And then on the other side, we're going to say right underscore on equals, and we're going to grab customer ID. Okay. And then this is just going to be a left join over here. So how equals left. All right. Next line of Code, I'm gonna say no orders equals, and what I'm gonna say is this customer orders over here. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. And I'm gonna say over here, we're gonna take a look at the inside of customer orders. We're gonna look at our ID being Y, which I should probably show you what this output table looks like, but 
uh, what we're going to say is id y dot is null. I'm going to populate that over here. Um, so why we're getting y, when you build out your new data frame over here, you're going to get x as well as y. Uh, just to show you what this specifically looks like, if we just go over here, it's going to tell me wrong, but I'm just going to return customer orders just to show you guys uh, that side of things. So if I just run this really quick, let's get this run over here. We'll actually have a runtime error. Uh, why am I getting runtime error? Oh, my indent. All right, let's rerun that. And it looks like a wrong answer, but you can see over here, since we have ID multiple times, we have an ID of X, and then we also have an ID of Y. Um, it just depends on what table you're using, right? So the X is gonna be our first one, or Y is gonna be the second one. So ID X is this customer's table, ID Y is this orders. And you could technically rename all these if you wanted to. I just elected not to in this specific example um, because it's pretty easy X and Y. All right, just back to this side of things. So I'm gonna remove this return customer orders. We will need a return statement, so, um, but just not right now. Okay, so we have no orders is equals this customer orders over here. Uh, we're looking at the Y is null. So it's looking at this orders table, right? And we're looking for the nulls over here. And that's gonna be our no orders, okay? Now what we're gonna do is rename a column in no orders. So we're gonna say equals no orders dot rename. And we're gonna put inside over here, we're gonna say columns equals, so columns equal. And then inside, we're gonna say our name column is gonna be customers. So essentially what we're doing in SQL, we're naming column as and renaming it. You can do the same thing in pandas with a dot rename. You just specify the columns. Um, all right, so we're gonna put customers in here like that. And then finally, we're gonna use our return. So we're gonna return over here are no orders, so grab that, type it out, or copy and paste like I do all the time, and then just go over here and grab this customers, and boom, uh, this is our query. Let's just run this, make sure everything is correct, and I'll do one more recap uh, for this, and you can see it's it's been accepted. And again, like I mentioned all these other videos, I've already did this before I started recording the video. I know this code specifically works. All right, so line one, what we're doing is we're merging this customers and orders, uh, we chose the left on this ID, the right on this customer ID. That's how these are specifically mapped. And we are doing a left join. Then we can take a look at the ID Y, which is anything in this customer ID. Um, Sorry, anything in this orders table, right? We're looking for this ID being null. Uh, the customer ID would be null as well. So either one of those uh, would work for this is null. And that's going to be our no orders. Next, we have no orders dot no rename. So we're renaming that this name column over here to customers. And finally, we're returning uh, a data frame, no orders over here with customers. And that is the final solution. Well, that question wasn't too bad. Hope you guys got some value from it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading multiple videos every single week as I try to improve my data skills. And speaking of skills, if you want to watch even more LeetCode videos, I have a full playlist right over here.